I see you've come back for your daily dose of dingo. Well, you can find this and more alliteration over at my Twitch. Right there. Enjoy the video. Allegory. Uh, one land. I might get to start on Springleaf Drum and then I get to go cat. Cat? Yeah, we'll try it. Hope you draw more lands. Or an oven. Oven would be kind of sweet too. It's an oven. Then we'll go spring leaf drum. Then next one go cat, tap cat, play oven. Start pinging my opponent down slowly. This deck misses Luris so much. Imagine just revealing Luris instead of Gigantha here. I'd have to cut the Mayhem Devils and the OBS, obviously, but back in the good old days when Luris was still around, this deck was eating good. Hello, Mario. Uh, I guess I'm triggering connive on this thing, which makes me a little sad, but I kind of have to. That snails. That's fine. I get it. I get it. I think we're going to fall way too far behind here. We can gain a life. Take three. Uh, gee. Not looking good. Not looking good. Is being bald cute? If so, I would be the cutest. Alright. Cat. Oven. Get a little bit of value. Do I just want to play Mayhem Devil? Q plus mold. Q mold. I guess I'm playing the Mayhem Devil. I think we're just going to be too slow here. Seven points is a lot of points. You can ping something for two. Hi there, face. This current song is The Last Soul from Beats of Rage. <laughs> Which I imagine is a play on Streets of Rage. Oh lord, they're conniving. They've been to DRC. Anvil. They only do 3 damage, so we'll just go upstairs with it. Honestly, if they attack both, they might die. Assuming they don't have 1 mana interaction, but they probably do have 1 mana interaction. Yeah, they're gonna like bolt my Mayhem Devil for sure. Yeah, now they're so far away from dying. I'll bring the cat back. Is it worth it? Mm. Am I winning? I what's the opposite of winning? That's what I'm doing right now. But I wouldn't say losing, because that seems like a harsh word. I'm gonna go with unwinning. <laughs> Stalling, yeah, pretty much. I can attack with the cat. I just don't think I can stay alive. Gonna be close. Definitely not alive if I have another bolt. What in the pile is this? It's an Obnixilus pile. This deck used to be popular back when Luris was around. And by popular, I mean fringe. But I like to consider it popular because I played it a lot. <laughs> in reality, it was just a super fringe deck. I think I'm just dead, right? Cat. Oops. I can gain two, three. I guess I go to one, right? They can connive, they got me. Not the best place to be. They're 100% conniving. Yeah, we came up a little bit short here. I think if that Mayhem lo Devil lived, would have survived. Yeah, dead to them conniving. Maybe they have five lands in hand. <laughs> copium. Super Copium. It's a bolt. New Blueberry. 
Yeah, because we can sacrifice this and then get it back. Not gonna be good enough. It's too aggressive. I wonder if there's a way I could have snuck out an extra point here. Point of life, anyways. Maybe if I didn't fetch shock to start us off with. Hindsight, I suppose. Maybe I go down to three obs in this matchup. I don't know if obs would even be able to get through. What else do I want to cut? One more card. Let me trim a Mayhem Devil. It's a little bit expensive against the Counterspell deck. I think the more cheaper threats we have, the better off we're going to be. Alright. Reveal my Elk. Uh, this is like the same hand as last time. Now with two Ob Nixilis. I'm going to ship it. I think we can do a little bit better. This is slightly awkward as well. I put back the oven. I can play Disciple and then Crack Bobble. I fetch Basic Swamp here. Play Disciple, Crack Bobble. Get an extra draw. In reality, maybe I should just put back the Obnix. Because it's so expensive and a little bit clunky in this matchup. It just does not line up well in the Counterspell. My speedrunning days are long over. True. I retired. I'll bring it back eventually. That would be a good emote to use. I guess I'm attacking for one, then playing Black Leaf Cliffs, holding up Terminate. In case they dash a Ragster at me. Maybe play a Ledger Shredder, I can Terminate it. They decide to do nothing. Well, I'm also doing nothing. One too many lands here. I could pick up Gigantha. Yeah, I guess I pick up Gigantha. Make it seem like I'm not threatening. I'm not holding up removal. I don't think they're going to dash a Raghavan at me if they didn't do it last turn. We will dash a Raghavan, though. They're probably going to end Counterspell. Hmm, I let it resolve. A braid. Interesting. Still gonna hold up Terminate here. They might want to, like, fetch and play Merc Tide or something. Explosives on one. All of that. Just to kill my Disciple. It's not gonna commit anything. This board. Them taking the incremental points of damage is kind of costing them in the long run. We are a one point at a time type of deck. Oh, Bobble. Yes, excellent. One point. They're drawing another land. Now the challenge starts in two hours and 40 minutes roughly. I'm going to commit the Gigantha now. Counterspell. Eddy Theft. My poor Disciple. <laughs> mm. I don't want to go Ob and the Cat. I think I'm going to go Ob and the Cat. Probably gets met with another Counterspell. We're just practicing for the challenge. We're deciding what deck we want to play. Yep, there's the counter spell. Uh, let's go cat. Brazy. Time for Torok to make a comeback. Maybe. If elementals become popular because of Nissa. Not sure how good the new Nissa is, though. Ooh. Well, that's kind of good. Oven? My cat. Please no. It might. I actually just think I'm going to play Invasion. I don't really want to get smacked by this brazen bar over and over. He decided not to wait for the oven. 
I could have just blown up the oven instead, which I feel like was probably the better play in the long run. Because now I can sack any creature and get back my cat. So I think they messed up by pulling that EE trigger a little bit too early. Just a little bit too early. I think they should let the oven resolve. Then I was going to put Mayhem Devil on the stack, at which point they could have popped it. And then I just get left with the cat. I actually get a food, which becomes the cat. I still would have killed the Brazen Barber. I almost got two cards. Power Axe not very good against creativity. My experience. Play another Disciple, and then we'll play Mayhem Devil. And then we'll slowly chip away at their life. Honestly, I could probably kill this. But I think I'm just going to go upstairs with everything. Put them to three. Or two, rather. Seems good to me. Fable might be better than the Shredder. Depends on the deck you're playing it in. Like, I don't think Fable's very good in Merc Dead. What music client do I use? I'm just listening to music on YouTube. YouTube music. I'm gonna take six. Okay, we got him there. What changes should we make? Why not that many, really? I think we're probably pretty happy. Just submitting again. Maybe we can trim some Raghavan on the draw. We'll leave him in. Oven definitely won me the game. No doubt. I'll keep it. Doc, play Disciple Pass. I'm going to hold on to the bobble until I can play the second Disciple. Although they might get PTSD and like bolt this one. But if they're bolting a Disciple, I'm pretty happy. That's one less bolt going at Auber, Mayhem Devil. Yeah, they definitely got PTSD. They're like, not again. Not again. That thing murdered me last time. What's up, Mercurio? I will, I'm, we're match deep. A couple games deep, so. Can't say for sure. But hopefully it's going to go well. I might just take this opportunity to terminate the Shredder instead. Yeah, I think I should just terminate the Shredder. That thing killed me last time. And this deck double spells like no tomorrow. So I think I should probably just get rid of the Shredder now while like, they're tapped out of counter magic. Notably, this would have been better as Asgul here. Having the flexibility to be able to target something is kind of important from time to time. Less so in a matchup like this where they're just playing like one creature and trying to protect it. First. I don't think I want to commit the second of an out in case they have EE on one. I think I'm just going to leave one oven in my hand. Oh, hot script. They brought in a lot of graveyard hate. Ooh, another Urza Saga. A Merc tied with standing. We might be able to just, like, add value them with Urza Saga. Unless they're not clocking us super quickly. All of the graveyard hate. Activate. Hmm. Definitely sending in for one. Deciding if I want to play another oven. I think I can play one more oven. Just to pump the dudes that I'm making out for this. It's still kind of bad if they have an EE on one. But they might be looking like EE on zero at this point. I probably should have brought in that pithing needle from my sideboard. Getting pithing needle here would have been pretty huge. Oh, my dude. Imagine it's that new play Merc Tide. Big Merc Tide. One, two, three. It's only six, six. Actually, not that big. 
cat wouldn't even do anything if I draw it because of the hearse. Six six mark dead. I wonder if I'm gonna crew an attack. I don't think they would. Trading hers for a construct token seems subpar. I'm gonna have to shock here though. Because I only have one basic swamp. Which might be a mistake. Maybe we want more. Lightning bolt. Interesting. I'm gonna go get a shadow spear and equip it. Start racing him. Race is on. Bonk. They don't have any good blocks here. They fire up the hearse and then eat two things. They're still taking one point of damage over the hearse. Something else kind of neat is I can use a witch's oven to eat this other construct and it'll make two foods and pump my other guy by one. So I'll pump it up to an 8-8. Eight eight. That ever becomes relevant. I wonder if they're going to attack me. Or if they're just going to like lose this Urza Saga. Hmm. Huh. No attacks. Disciple the Vols. An interesting one. Bobby! What's up, Bob? I'm going to send them both here. I think the max I could have done was 6. My math is correct. Double block, Merc Tide, and Unlicensers. Oh, wow, they're going for the chump. 1, 2, I think I can still win. Eat the food, or just bolt them. 1, 2, 3. Take a second to think here. So if I trample over for 3, Disciple doesn't quite do it. Yeah, we're not going to quite do it here, so... Let's make a guy. Maybe if we sequence this differently, we could have actually just won the game. Mm -hmm. I'm also at 30, so somehow I feel like we're winning anyways. I also could have eaten this and then pumped it by one more, gotten in for two. Doesn't seem worth it though. Seemed pretty dead next turn. They need EE on zero. They have dress down. Do I think they have dress down? Probably not. But they very well could. In with the squad. A braid. It's just the best Mario. It's just so good. So I could have bolted them and then sacrificed Construct, sacrificed Construct, sacrificed Bobble, and then that's like six damage upstairs. What's up, her? Uh, sure. It's got an anvil and oven. Ma'am, devil. What more could we want? Crush this challenge. Can't believe you just stay calling it an easy. It's not that easy. Is Merc Tide again? I found the Merc Tide. Are we cousins? Probably not. And Sedge. I would imagine, statistically speaking, no. But. A little bit of Final Fantasy. Yep. Ragavan hit me, I'm dead. Remember me, chat? Oh, Ragavan hit my mountain, too. I'm super dead. Double dead. Okay. It's gonna let the DRC fly. I'm taking 
six, seven. If they attack with Ragavan, they are gonna attack with Ragavan. Kind of have to trade that off, but I think we're just dead here. Yep. Ragavan hit me. GG. Hmm. I cut last time an Obnix and a Mayhem Devil. I cut one more for the Pithy Needle I'm bringing in that I should have brought in last time. Almost assuredly going on Engineered Explosives. Don't listen to Bolt Snap, he's a compulsive liar. I cut it, Ragavan. Most handsome streamer. I'm gonna get on my business jacket. Now we're most handsome streamer. Bolt Snap, Bolt, why don't you have a seat over there? Yeah, our streamer suit's on now. Poison one, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. And we'll keep it. I'm not happy about it. If I was super tryharding, life on the line, oh man, I'd probably play Blue Red Breach. We're super tryharding. Maybe I'm supposed to cycle this bobble. For engineering explosives. Ah, good thing I didn't cycle that bobble. Ask Dingo's a genius. Now I'm talking about Underworld Breach. The playable Breach. Either that or like Merc Tad, probably. If I was super tryharding. Creativity might be better than both of those decks, but I'm just not super comfortable with creativity. I'm more comfortable with one of the other blue red decks instead. Yeah, breach the multiverse. There you go. I was coming to the BBQ. I missed it. Should have given me more than a five minute warning in advance. <laughs> Where in the states even are you, Zeriak? Tennessee. I think that's like a four day drive. Way to dox you? You literally said it. You didn't have to. True, get doxed. Blood Moon. Um, hmm. Not ideal by Urza Saga. to sack one of these ovens. Always yield, always yield, always yes, always yield, yes. Go. And death by one million cuts. One million small jabs. I'm going to turn this into a food and then eat the food, turn into a one one. Play Asgul, smack them, put them down to nine. So uncastable, Ob. So sad. I think I saw your barbecue tweet like right as it was about to go live. Otherwise, I would have commented on it. I can't flip Asgul, so I'm gonna guess no. Probably not worth it. Next BBQ's at Dingo's. Slap your meat on my grill. Hold up. All right, but you have to bring, as a housewarming gift, you got to bring the industrial size hot tub. It's on the porch further down. Bet. Yeah, you can figure it out. You'll find a way. That's pretty good. One million cuts. Sack that. Make the thingy. I'm going to push you this ill. Thank you. For the raid, I appreciate that. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Cat trigger. Oop. Exclamation mark deck to check out the deck list. Everything's on stream decker. We won't slander Ob like that. What did Ob do to you? 
My poor boy lost his spark, and you're calling him unplayable? The Abart goes hard. That's what really matters. They bend bolt bolt. Are you dead? Death by 10,000 paper cuts? Okay. Maybe we're running it back. Yeah, as long as I can prevent them from, like, getting out of the gate early, I think this is a really good matchup for us. But if they go, like, huge flyer, huge flyer, huge flyer, then we have an issue. And so close. If one of these disciples were another land, I would snap keep this hand. This being a one lander makes me want to mulligan it. Is the stream decker 56 cards? It's probably missing the obs. I bet you the obs haven't been added to the card pool. Let me check. I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. We'll keep this. Yep, the obs are missing. Must not have aftermath cards on stream decker yet. I'm going to put back blood crypt. I can always fetch one out here. Yeah, go. Cool. Yeah, 56 cards just to increase the consistency. No problem. Explosives on two. Death by one million cats. Cat Oven has just been winning me the game. And like Anvil. Oh, Cat Oven will not be winning me this game. Damn, you even drew the oven. It's tragedy. I gotta bolt the cat. Ah, uh, well, uh, yep. Cat down. Kind of hoping they would just slam a blood moon. <laughs> Completely lock themselves out of blue. Would have been sweet. All right. Activate Saga. Untap, probably activate Saga again. Get a Nile Spell Bomb. Should probably get a Spring Leaf Drum. Aww. Oh. Sadness on the stack. But also just Pithy Needle on Licensed I think I'm kind of down for that. Since I have Oven in hand. I think that's probably okay. I'm gonna regret not getting that if they well, have another explosives. Do they also have a Merc Tad? Seems like they also have a Merc Tad. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. I went about as poorly as possible. I only have one card. It's a Fury. Okay. I'm gonna draw all their sideboard cards, dress down, EE, -E, hers, fury, all of them. How can I squeeze this game out? Is it gonna happen? Probably starts by bolting the fury. Saga. Oven. Anvil. Sacrifice. Oven. Maybe I have to sacrifice Anvil to itself. I have to sack Anvil to itself. I have to bolt the fury. Look at your draft. Alright, hold up. Hold up, I'm cooking. Attack, anvil. Pass the turn. I mean, they had both EE on one and EE on two. Snuff out, grief. Chandra. Spyro, faithless looting. Entomb, Black Lotus, Lotus Petal Box, Ruby. If you don't 3-0 with this deck, Bob, don't talk to me again. <laughs> you best 3-0 with that. So crack. What can I draw? Ob Nixless is a blocker. Mayhem Devil. Not gonna do it. Alright, we're dead. Womp womp. 
Hindsight, I guess I should have needled explosives. But the chances of them having second explosives, eh, pretty low. What can you do? Merktide's got the best card selection. Upcoman. I really could have that as a name on it. Magic Online. I guess Magic Online doesn't really have any filters. I wonder what they'll take. Our hand curves out pretty nicely here. One, two, three, four. Three lands. What more could you ask for? My hand's like a pioneer player's dream right now. Oh yeah, yeah, thank you. I forget. This is why I hate doing the text record, because I always forget to update it. Took my Mayhem Devil, I drew Ragavan. Ragster go. MTG bot's been broken for me for forever. I don't know what I did to it, but it says I've been in the modern prelim for the past like week. I'm sorry, MTG bot. I'm not in that modern prelim anymore, I swear. Ground lock. Fetal push. I guess I could have sequenced that a little bit better and not get stubbed. Hurry up and finish your prelim game. Everybody's been waiting on you for days. Weeks, even. Merc died? No Merc died. The judges are tired of giving me time extensions. We're playing against three different Merc Tad decks so far. Pretty interesting. As soon as I started saying, like, oh, Merc Tad's going away. Like, I haven't seen Merc Tad in forever. Suddenly, Merc Tad. I get Thanos snapped if I don't get a time extension. I'm just going to need, like, a couple of months time extension. I think I'm going to get a spring leaf drum here. I want to play probably Second Disciple. They could have main deck dress downs since they're playing Shadow. Wow, they counterspelled that. Yeah, Cat would be pretty good. So we're in our third match now, and I still haven't cast Ob. One day I'll cast Ob. Today might not be that day, though. Invasion of Asgul. Invasion of Asmongol. It's time to Niles live either way. So I was kind of trying to bait with the oven first. Fair enough. I wish I had thought of that name like two weeks ago when the set came out. No way we're attacking with the shadow, right? What? Yeah, I didn't think so. Anvil. They have all the counter magic. So I could send with everything. They block. I guess I could send them with these two. They block one. I turn it into food. Okay, I have this lightning bolt. Imagine hating on my four mana card. Let him live. Foods. I guess I probably should have sent the team, huh? Because if I send all that was just lethal. Stop hating on my format of card. <laughs> He's trying his best. Sobs four mana. This obs three mana. This one's four mana. So yes, the answer is yes. I'm just citing the same way. I know you're a hater. You already hated on him once. I pay attention. Sometimes. <laughs> Let me cook. <laughs> That's why Spike argues with chat all the time. Nobody wants to let him cook. Discontent. Yeah, discontent. Thank you, Lesnar. <laughs> Absolutely. With chat, of course. Uh, 
Uh, Ragavan Goo. What are you going to do? Fatal push my Ragavan? Please don't do it. I said please. I'll resolve the Shadow Spear. I think that's going to be more important than the Oven. Okay. It's fine. Challenge starts in a little under two hours. It's like hour 45-ish. Is Ob going to cook this game? Maybe. I mean, it's probably not better than making constructs, but maybe. I could have dressed down, though. Ob, do something. You're embarrassing me. I think I'm getting the Springleaf Drum. But he has three dress downs in a row now. They're giving the mightiest warriors the hardest challenges. <laughs> yeah, that's Ob Nexus is a new card. Oh boy. Oops, dropped my six power into play. I try to have this in low latency we're gonna toggle the low latency again chat because people keep telling me this they're like it's not low enough let me toggle the low latency oma latency refresh and then low latency refresh chat refresh the stream tell me how bad the latency is i try to have good latency but i never do maybe it says to start toggling it like every stream be a pain in the ass, but maybe it's worth it. They're 18 each. It's a lot. It's 10 seconds for you. Interesting. Tried play, uh, what was that? You tried to play the limited challenge for the first time long time and you join limited challenge and it bugged out and that won't start it probably isn't enough people for it to fire does it have a max of 64 three seconds for you that's not bad chances are it's not firing because there isn't enough people yeah everybody is limited precisely yeah So we're going to sacrifice this cat. I might draw and lock something. Yeah. I don't want to sacrifice this and make two foods. I'll make two food. Ob has just done absolutely nothing. Maybe I should have bolted them in the face while they were tapped out. Do something. <laughs> Come on, Ob. I believe in you. Should have done this while they were tapped out. Land? Oh. Do I even need a land? One, two. Send with both. Anvil. Play an anvil. Send both cats. I'm kind of surprised they didn't block. They're playing with fire. Down to three. Dismember my token. Block. All right. 2-1 without casting Ob a single time. He's just so much mana in modern. 
but cast up with this hand, surely. This is the one. I'm also gonna have to cycle this Mishra's bubble. I don't think I can wait until the anvil comes down. I think I need to do it now. I didn't my opponent's upkeep. This is the one one lander. <laughs> Just Guy Breach? Nah, if it were Just Guy Breach, they'd be playing Gigantha. But plays Hollow Fountain Opt. Or Hollow Fountain Consider. Maybe Blue White Control. Maybe. Am I gonna get Chaliced? They're gonna Chalice me. I paid 2 mana for that pending. 2 mana pending your 1 mana card. Oh, second Ob. Get out of here, Ob. I need land. Not 4 drops. Why do they spend two mana depending, my guy? Ragavan's a one drop. Super F. Super duper F. I was on the draw. I had a Ragavan on one and a Bobble. I keep this hand every day. All day, every day. Get punished again. Yeah, they wanted to flex that they have the mana. They're like, oh, tap two to pending your one drop. Because I got all these lands over here. Unlike you. No lands. No maidens, no lands. Okay. Gonna attack them. Well, they can pick up the batter skull. Might not try to flip it. I just don't think it does much. I think my best chance of winning this game, probably just getting the incremental points of damage and eventually just killing them. We are playing against Stoneblade. My oven. Second oven. My second oven. Oh wow, they didn't pick up Batter School. I thought for sure they'd pick up Batter School. Looks like they're gonna cast Caldra. Don't go to three opponent. No, opponent, you went to three against the incremental. No. Step one land, zero problems. Nihil Spellbomb, get out. Ob OP. <laughs> the takeaway here was that Ob Nix listed everything. And for that reason, I'm cutting one from <laughs> during sideboarding. Oh man. Poor Ob. Can't catch a break. People forget when Anvil was a fringe meta deck back in the Luris days. So they look at it now and they're like... That's a Pioneer deck, Dingo. What are you doing with all these Pioneer cards? I'm gonna cast Ob this league if it kills me. It's had four Black Lotuses on the battlefield. Did you ult the ready or something? Yeah. Remember when DT said scam was a fad? DT says a lot of hateful things. And that's okay. Is ob short for obsolete? Ob short is short for obcastable. It's like uncastable, but specifically for ob. What's our Mufasa? Let's do an hour Mufasa. What do you think they have in their hand? Let's peep. We could cast Ob. Counter argument. We thought sees them. I 
Evidently, they have a handful of counter spells. Shock? Shock, not shock. Max Zero, thank you for the fall. I appreciate that. Shock. Ragster, that's not surviving. Bonked by Mayhem Devil. Alright, son, I'm gonna need you to resolve. Resolve, 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 resolve. Come on, one time for the one time resolve. Yata! Take a point. Dress down. Aww. Sadness on the stack. Oh, when dress down disappears, Hob's gonna grow. Quite a bit. Grow up, grow. <laughs> no, come back. He was growing. All right. I mean, it's got a Ragavan. I'm going to crack this ball on myself first, also. Hi, Ragavan. Actually, might take Oven. They have a Ren and Six lined up. Is it Ren and Six? I think I'm going to lead on Cat. Because I'm pretty sure they're playing Jund. They're on Yogg. Is that why they revealed Jagantha? Yagantha? Cool drawing another bubble. Cat. You have no idea how the service works? I'm pretty sure there's tutorials. On their website. Just gonna fetch up a tap land here. Who would use tutorials? Not me. Who would use mana traders? Also not me. Stream is sponsored by Card Hoarder. Huge shout out to Card Hoarder. Being the best rental service there is. Get dunked on mana traders. Mic drop. <laughs> oh man, should I bring it back? Yeah. Nah. Well, yeah. Nah. Yeah. I'll bring it back. Heck you for one. Oh no, they found out my weakness. Fine. You win this round. Oops, I'm in blocks. Ab is coming in hot, hopefully. Well, card hoarder is a little bit more expensive, but you do get more freedoms. You can, like, have the cards as long as you want. Also, you get to pick your art, which is nice. And they're faster. Yeah. I'm going to tap out for Ab, and I'm going to do everything on my end step. I'm going to go end step, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Cycle through everything. The captive kingpins here. Bump up the jam. Yeah, it works with the opponent's fetches as well. Another oven. God sees me. Sees two lands. Asmo. Passes the turn. Well, it's time for my son to become large. Grow up, grow. Grow up. <laughs> We're gonna eat a food. Oh, that's not gonna save you.
Look at my son, a 10 9. Oh, I want to screenshot that. It's just Corvold. Four mana Corvold. Crack the code. Yeah, unchecked ob just goes crazy. I think you want to be playing at like three max though. It's kind of a clunky card at four mana. But it's kind of neat at the same time, so. Evidently there's playing at green asmo food. Not Jund. Not the rock. So leaving the spell bomb. Damn it, Abby. <laughs> now it's kind of slow and clunky, but it's super sweet when it gets to go off uncontested. Excuse me, uncontested. Which is not very often because he's so expensive and he doesn't really do anything until like the turn after. You can sack some stuff on the end step and kind of do some cool things. I feel like he's going to go obsolete. The old Leyline of the Void Nile Spellbomb deck. Classic. Only one bobble around for now. Nah, I think the invasion sucks. For the most part. Invasion of Azgul's not a very good card. Profane Tutor. I'm trying another Leyline. I, I have all the graveyard hate they could ever want. My man is kind of bad right now. The reason of Asgul's just in here to combo with Ob, but I don't think it's a very good card in general. It loses way too hard to Surge of Salvation and Veil of Summer. And it's not like, oh, it just gets countered by Surge of Salvation and Veil of Summer. It's like, no, you have to sacrifice a creature now. And the fact that you have to sacrifice a creature because they have Hexproof is, just makes it like completely unplayable in Modern. It's probably way better in Pioneer. Format without horrendous things like that. I mean, I still have Surge, but nobody plays Surge, really. I think Brave the Elements is still better in the Mono White Humans deck. Yeah, all will be one is do card combo, but so is the other one mana enchantment. So, Profane Tutor, but again. Nile Spellbomb. Yeah, I bet you Ob's good in Pioneer. I guess the tutor, whatever they want. I imagine keeping Ob around a pioneer would be a little bit easier until turn five, but still probably not super practical. I don't know, you have Mayhem Devil, you have Cat Oven in Pioneer, you have Anvil in Pioneer, you could probably get something going there. I don't think you need a combo. I think you probably just play value Ob as four mana core vault. I'd probably do a pretty good job of winning the game on its own. I get this in case they pithing needle. Then you'll have to play Pioneer. Oh no. I mean, Pioneer has its upsides. Like you don't have to play against Living End or Rhinos. Or Creativity. I guess you still have to play against Creativity. You still don't have to play against Living End or Rhinos. What the hell did they get? I'm gonna get a Springleaf drum here. Getting the Troxa. Holy shit, am I getting Graveyard Hate instead? I'm getting Graveyard Hate instead. I'm probably going to crack this Nile spell bomb in response to them tapping Urza Saga in case they have Pithing Needle for Nile spell bomb. I guess they could Gorios. Actually, it was actually kind of bad, right? Because they could have Gorios in response. That was bad. I should have done it in response to the Profane Tutor. It was actually really bad. I forgot they could just Gorios in response. I 
make a food. The wire might eat my saga. I guess I should have just taken the pithing needle. If they had one, it would have been the smartest play. What I did was not very smart. Mm -hmm. They're just taking these incremental points of damage. Amazing. I don't want to bolt upstairs. Time's a challenge yet. And an hour and ten minutes. Ooh. It's not bad. I think I'm going to spend one of these EEs for the greater good. Seven. No, I don't get any disciple triggers, so I'm pretty sure I didn't have lethal. Send both and then sacrifice disciple. Up these up to a 6-6. Six, six. Or you just sacrifice here. Make him take 6. No, my disciple doesn't trigger because of the ley line. Dude, I don't know. I probably had lethal some way. Not everything triggers a disciple anymore. Yeah, I probably had lethal some way. That's okay. We got it now. Now, if we sacrifice a token while ley lines out, then it still triggers. So maybe we could have like done some EE on zero nonsense. Either way, we four one. That was sweet. Hey, Burnt. Hey, Loquacious. What's up? Have you peaked? Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>